Okay, today we are going to talk about how to find the rank and nullity of a given matrix. First, we start with the rank and nullity theorem. This theorem states that the rank and nullity of a matrix add up to the number of columns in that matrix. For example, if a matrix A has M rows and N columns, then the rank plus the nullity is equal to the number of columns in that matrix. So say we have a 4 by 4 matrix, M is 4 and N is 4, therefore the rank of the matrix plus the nullity of the matrix is going to equal 4. To find the rank of a matrix given the nullity, you just simply subtract the nullity from the number of columns N. So the number of columns minus the nullity is equal to the rank. However, if you aren't given the nullity of the matrix, you, to find the, the rank of A, given only the matrix, you put A into reduced row echelon form and then determine the number of non-zero rows in that matrix. This is the rank of A. So if you have, you put it into reduced row echelon form and when you do that, each, the leading, you're going to have leading ones as in each row. Just look at, count the number of leading ones or the number of non-zero rows, as said before, and that is going to be your rank of A. To find the nullity of a matrix given the rank, you just subtract the number of columns in that matrix. You subtract the rank from the number of columns in that matrix. So the number of columns minus the rank is equal to the nullity. And to find the nullity given just the matrix A, there's no simple way, or there's only a simple way to do that. You can't just put it in reduced row and count because there's no, like the rank, you can't do a different way about it. You have to first find the rank to find the nullity. And you find the rank and then use the process above after by counting the rows. So to find the rank and nullity of the following matrix, we first want to find the rank, because if we don't have the rank, we cannot tell the nullity. So we will put it into reduced row echelon form and determine the number of non-zero rows. So here we have the original matrix, and this shows some steps, and it's put into the reduced row echelon form. And here we can see that there is only one non-zero row in the reduced row matrix. Therefore, the rank of C is 1. Once we have the rank, it becomes a very, very simple problem. So to find the nullity of C, you just subtract the rank from the number of columns in C. So here C is a 4 by 4 matrix, like I had described before. So its number of columns is 4. We also know that the rank is C from the previous slide. Therefore, the nullity of C is equal to 4, the number of columns, minus 1, the rank, is equal to 3, so nullity of C is 3.